In this gospel snippet, I want to say a few words on Exodus chapter 12 and verse 23. I'm referring to the shadow of the Passover. And by shadow, I mean that which was a historical event in the Old Testament, picturing in a sketchy way, foreshadowing the coming of Christ and the salvation he would accomplish at Calvary. Exodus 12 and verse 23, the Passover. The point of the Passover was this. The blood was put on the lintels of the door. And all who were inside that house, under the blood, sheltering under the blood, when the angel of destruction came, he passed over. Under the blood prevented the wrath of God from falling upon those under that blood. That was the picture. And it happened that night in Egypt. All who were outside, not under the blood, under the angel of destruction, the firstborn died. But inside, inside the house, under the blood, all was safe. And it was a picture of Christ. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. That's what a believer can say. He knows that under the blood of Christ, he is safe from the wrath of God. He has come under the blood of Christ, spiritually speaking, by faith in the Lord Jesus. He has trusted him, relied upon his blood sacrifice to prevent the wrath of God falling upon him as a sinner, because it's fallen upon Christ. This is what propitiation means. Christ in the place of sinners, bearing the wrath of God for those sinners. So there's the choice, my friend. We're either under the blood or under the wrath of God. I say we, but I'm going to say you. I speak to you personally. Are you under the blood of Christ? Are you resting in the finished work of Christ? Do you know that his blood has washed you from your sins? Do you know that he bore your wrath, the wrath of God that was due to you? Do you know he bore that for you, that he stood in your place and satisfied the wrath of God, propitiated it because he bore it, the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me? Are you resting in that finished work? Or are you trusting in, say, baptism or... uh, good works or doing your best or whatever. My friend, it will not work. You are either under the blood of Christ or under the wrath of God. I plead with you, trust the Lord Jesus Christ now. Call upon him. Rest in his precious blood sacrifice. And I tell you this, you won't be under the wrath of God. Christ, you will be able to say, stood in my place and bore God's wrath for me. And you will speak of Christ from now on as your Passover lamb sacrificed in your room instead. And you are sheltering forever under his precious blood. If you've never trusted Christ, I plead with you, I urge you, come to him this very moment. Lord, save me. Wash me in your blood. Shelter me under your blood. Be my Passover lamb, now and forever. I tell you, if you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved. Do not stay where you are under the wrath of God. Come to Christ and be under his precious blood. I urge you.